Welcome back everyone to Zoom Brilliant Chronicles 2 episode 22. Last time we met Fan and we went to the left left field Rex's home Titan. We're back in more our dang cause there's a heart to heart, so let's go. Rex Rex! Tora have to ask for friend as fellow man's man. Tora want to gain understanding of life as adventurer. As an adventurer? Rex Rex is role model of Tora. That why Tora want to learn everything he can about being Rex Rex. This is all very sudden, Tora. What's going on? Um, now, Rex. Don't feel too important. He just wants to talk. In any case, it's not so common for Master Pond to ask something so directly. Exactly! Tora being earnest like never before. <laughs> Tora submit as evidence this direct, unflinching eye contact. Wow, your pupils are really dilated. That's what you get, staying up all night. All right, tonight Master Pond go to bed early. Meh, 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 enough! Tora's eyes are worried of Tora. It not matter. This important. Tora want to be like Rex Rex. Rex Rex, please teach Tora. Maybe it's better if Nia teaches you. Okay, so you want to know about being a driver, right? Right. Does it bother Master Pawn when someone say he no good at weapon pass? Of course it bother Tora. I mean, weapon pass is crucial element of driver blade coordination. If someone say me not so great at that, Tora's self-esteem plunge is par for course. I know where you're coming from, but... Uh, maybe that's all the more reason to ask Nia. She's the experienced one around here. Meh, Tora get it. We'll ask. Nia just say, with time, body of driver learn to do it by muscle memory. Answer seems somewhat dismissive. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Hey, but maybe I can still help. I think Pyra and I manage okay, so... Actually, Nia refer to Rex Rex as well. Poppy believe the kid's green as freshly mowed grass himself, were her exact words. Seriously? That's what she thinks of me. Oh, chin up, Rex Rex. Indeed. Have much time to live and learn. Yeah, we'll get there. He says he'll help, but then he's the one who needs pepping up. Yep, these are exactly as I expected, and we have Mithra, not Pyro right now. There's no... I just put Mithra on because... My god, it's so much better being able to attack a hundred times. Okay, let's go to the Lefirian... left Lefirian Archipelago, okay. I already went to the Far Island, and yeah. So, I'm gonna try skipping some parts, cause not all of it is interesting. That was slow. I think. Let us go. Cause, just going to the other island, it took me a few minutes. So I might be speeding everything up. Might. Wait, what? Um. Quick, unique boss battle fight. Three, two. Everyone's getting psyched. We seem to be doing just 
One, go. Okay. Now that it's done, let's continue on the hike. So, I'm gonna shrink this and enlarge a smash. Nah. I'm just gonna enlarge and shrink this enlarge another thing and it'll be just it's gonna be some things I might I'm gonna explain some things and that's what you're gonna see in the large part there will be the smaller part where you can see that I'm still running so Okay, so let me explain everything about I learned from seeing stuff. So, Mithra, general thing, she has one of the most OP things. Each time you crit, it does extra damage. She has boosting crits, which you have to walk a bunch. I tried doing some off camera and it barely dented. You get this. Yeah, Mithra is mainly for, well, she can do a bunch of blade combos. So, while Pyra, you, th you think, okay, Mithra is, is better than Pyra, which I agree for where I am right now, but I think once I'm further into the game, Pyro will be a great help. So let me give you the rundown. So this is Pyro, right? I've been her blade thing for so long, and I just looked into it, and here it is. Like 4,000 points, and does that count with Mithra or not? Anyways, 4,000 15% chance to defeat non-boss foes with up to 20% HP. That will be great for fighting hordes of enemies. You know why? Because if I'm higher level than them, they'll go down quicker, and then it has this, and it might completely die. They might just all die. So I think Pyro will be useful for going fast. Rock, we have to level up his mer the mercenary gear up, so that's a bunch of water. I keep Yomo or another person. Usually I don't have Yomo, I have someone that can launch, like this. So yeah, me yeah, and nothing special. I switch out the, I usually keep a few people here. I, I don't know who I'm choosing right now. I have Fitch here because I just want to see how they are and they have the highest auto attack because I haven't leveled up Drummer. Toro, you can do nothing. Bridget, I tried to wake a bunch of blades and no legendary, so nothing we can really do there. And why don't give her a better weapon? That block rate goes down, and I'm not letting it happen. So, yeah. So, right now you're saying the running in the bottom corner or top corner depends on how editor is doing it because he's the dumbest man alive. But other than that, there's really not much more to explain. I, I keep the normal equipment. I took a great equipment for having Mithra. You see how Mithra does a lot? Does. Look, a 
Absorbs 12% critical damage to Delta's HP. That means once I crit them, healed, and since Mithra is a crit goddess, it's great. This increases crit damage, so great. Then on her ox cores, boost critical score. hit rate, obviously. And restores 3.5 HP when using Dragon Art. And you see, I use Dragon Art a lot with Mithra. Okay, I think this is all. Okay. See you guys. Okay, we have arrived at one checkpoint. Let's... I've never seen anything like this. A tunnel through the clouds? It's because this archipelago is formed of many smaller titans. The forces between the titans bend the cloud sea into this shape. There is a large titan as well, at the center of the cloud mountains. Though, being within the Cloud Sea itself, you won't find humans living on it. The small titans seem to like clustering around the larger one, and that's what forms the archipelago. Wow! So many amazing things to see in world! Master Pun should get out more often. Working inside all day, bad for mind and body, you know. Tora on wonderful adventure with Rex Rex right now, though. Days of staying inside all day are long gone. Yeah, you're a driver. Just like us now, Tora. Meh meh. Tora appreciates support from friend Rex Rex. Fly. Oh, this is where we were going. Um, I think we have a sorceress on our team. Great. We've been discovered. takes me back what the hell you wouldn't catch me dead doing that don't knock it till you try it it's how we all learn to swim in the clouds you mean you did that too yeah of course it came in really handy when I became a salvager I can't stand it on there it's not like water feels like the clouds are wrapping around you Hmm, and you don't like heights, either. You get used to it really quick. Hey, you wanna give it a go? What? Hey, no! You get away from me! Don't touch me! Stop that, Rex. Don't tease her. All right, all right. Honestly, when are you gonna grow up a little? Very impressive. We've refitted the drivetrain to use our Damien technology. All of the control mechanisms have been beautifully preserved, so we should be able to finish relatively soon. Finally, we will be able to compensate for our forces' depletion. The Gormut struggle takes its toll. Sir. And there are no safety concerns, I trust. The explosion three months ago was most unfortunate. Or had you forgotten? We've been running a sedative drip through the Titan's fluid since then. No further difficulties. We've also encased the back end in composite steel. 
that should withstand sustained enemy fire. Even if it were to be blown up, well, it'll be in enemy territory. A pedic victory, I'd say. Well, the crew will have escape pods. Escape pods? Are you sure you don't mean coffins? I mean... Uh... <clears throat> Judicium, the dead nation that realized Flesh Eater technology. I cannot say I find their creations tasteful. I'm aware you do not agree with the principle of fusing blades with human cells. Few people do. Not what I mean. I'm sorry, sir. Well, then what exactly do you? It's said that Flesh Eaters were created in the quest for ever stronger blades. But is that really true? What I see in them is the shadow of a people scrabbling to prolong their existence. I look at them and see ourselves. That is what I despise. I will leave for Indol shortly. Much remains to be done. Okay. Well, we're literally just there, so no point. Hey, look what I found. Rex, Rex, Rex. 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 Whoa, Kirk, Kazuna. You guys sure have grown. And hey, is that really? That's our Mark. He'll be going away to school in Indol soon, thanks to the help you've been sending us. Auntie Corinne, good to see you. Well, this is quite a welcome. I didn't realize you were sending your money home. That's very admirable for such a young man. Oh, huh? Oh, old lady have lots of little ponds. Master Pond, these clearly not all little ponds of same parent. My word, is that old Azurda there? What have you gone and done to yourself? That would take some explaining. Incidentally, is there some way you could put us up for the night? Long day and all. Is there some way? Don't give me that. Stay for as long as you like. What's mine is yours. Thank you. Auntie, thank you so much. I think I'll go for a bit of a walk first, though. Ah, yes. Leave your friends with me. Pyro, could you come along too? <laughs> oh, of course. Right then, come with me, all of you. Well, right here. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Oh, we need Toro. Huh. So it's just another village. Eh. Oh, there's a hard too hard. Um, up there. We'll look for it later. Let's just continue on with this story. And... Up there. Where are we? These are my parents' graves. What? Sorry, 
I guess I never properly told you about myself. I'm... No, it's fine. I'm sorry I never thought to ask. I wanted you to meet them, though. To meet them? How do you mean? Hey, Mom? Dad? It's been a while. A ton happened, you know? I became a driver. And this girl... is Pyra. My new partner. I know you'd love her. We... We're going to Elysium. Pyra and me. I don't... Know what's coming next, but you'll be watching over us, right, guys? Rex, right, let's head back. Okay. And they continue it. <sighs> well, at least not as sad as Van Damme stuff. Episode 14, I think, is come on, come on. Van Damme's death, or 15, I don't remember. You're all mine. And arrived. <laughs> all in one piece. I'm so sorry making you wash up like this. No, no, don't worry about it. I don't have to be in a fight to be able to help people. I like it. You're a dear. Rex is very lucky you're around. He's never brought a girl to meet me before. Huh? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. I'm just Rex's blade. Is that so? You do hear of blades and drivers getting married a lot in the old stories. Uh... This is a lovely village. <laughs> Everyone's so warm and carefree. It's removed from everything, you see. I think if everyone could live like this, the world might be a happier place. You know, between you and me, I think, deep down, Rex still misses his mother a little. In a way, you remind me of her. Just a tad. Of Rex's mother? Really? Actually, he took me to say hello to his parents. Ah. You know, Rex wasn't born here in Fonset. He must have been two years old when he came ashore here with his poor mother. Maybe it was war or a dying titan, but they'd lost their home, sure enough. I gather it was a great struggle to get here. She was so weak. She asked me to look after Rex and that was the last thing she said. She seemed so lovely, too. And his father. We found his body about three titan peds away from here. He came so far, if only he'd made it a little farther. Such a sad business. 
How awful. That boy has suffered enough loss for one life. That's why he became a salvager, you know? To find some way up to Elysium. In that case, maybe it's not good for me to be by Rex's side after all. Why? Are you not fond of him? Oh, I am. But with me here, he'll suffer even more, lose even more. So maybe, maybe Rex is better off without me. Rex, and the whole world, they don't need me. That's just how it feels. Now, dear. Okay, time to move out. See you soon, Rex! You take care now. And keep yourself out of trouble, Azurda. Ah, you know me. I prefer the quiet life. Thank you for everything. Pirate, dear, I don't know what you've been through before, but you should know you're not alone anymore. Rex is a strong boy. You can depend on him whenever and wherever you need him. I know. I'll try. Huh. What was all that about? Nothing at all. Right? Nothing for your ears, Rex. You just concentrate on what you're doing. Work hard and do your best. Sure. I will. Well, I guess I want to save the port for next episode. So, we're not leaving here just yet. Plus, there's a heart to heart, and we're doing it. Fun. Huh? You guys don't want it? Well, too bad. Wolfric? What big voice about? Seem to be getting very worked up for something. What Wolfric planning? I want to talk more with others. But everyone is scared of me. I am not a scary person. I want them to see that. Wolfric is kind blade who doesn't even crush ants on path. Yeah, it's a good idea to talk to people if you want them to understand you. Maybe talking hard for Wolfric though, growling more normal for him. Yes, everyone runs from my voice. That is the problem. How can I fix this? So, a child or senior citizen? I actually have no idea. Senior citizen! Yeah! Um, senior citizen. Okay. Three, two, one. Well, looks like a senior citizen's in trouble over there. You could help. Very good. Maybe if Wolfric does nice thing for someone, people know Wolfric nice. Dora will tag along. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Are you okay, old lady? Oh, 
I've been trying to get back home, but my knees are right done in. My eyes aren't up to much either. If I get a bit out of breath, I can't see a blessed thing. Oh, uh, madam, let me help you. Oh, thank you so much, young man. I'm much obliged. Okay to walk? Yes, I think I can manage that. What's this here? A funny place to put a rock. Ah, uh, no, that's part of my body. Oh, oh my! What a burly gent I'm getting walked home by. The neighbors will be talking. Madam, watch your step. What the bloody hell's that thing? A bloody monster's what it is. Oh, sounds like there's a bit of a commotion. It is nothing. Just some monster. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Let's get home quick. Do not worry, madam. I will protect you. Oh, my hero. I don't doubt it. This is where you live? Yes, this is my humble abode. Thank you so much, young man. Will you tell me your name? I am Wolfric. Oh, that's... Oh, you are most welcome. You did great there, Wolfric. A few more good deeds like that, and everyone will know what a nice guy you are. Yes. I must keep being nice. Keep being kind. Everyone, thank you. Honestly, a great blade. Both in using him for combat and just personality. <laughs> eh, what does Corn want? Or more? Oh, more pirate cooking. More recipes. I just thought of a great menu idea. Look forward to that later. No, no, no. Nothing we can get. Great. I'm looking for that hard to hard. Uh. Is there a bottom path? There is. I call upon the power fire, of fire. Guide me. The wind is my mate. So, one fire and a few wind. Um, let's see, windmaster. Hey, you're the boss. I'll shine on the front line too. Okay, let's go. I call upon the power I think of fire. I'll show you my power. Fire, guide me. The wind is my mate. Useful, right? Treasure acquired. Money. And heart to heart. So. Rex, you lived here? Huh? No. This is my getaway. You know, like a secret hideout. Then why are we poor at the end of the... No. The end of the game? We're at... Why were you poor at the beginning of the game then, if you had 2,000 stashed in here? I lived on Gramps. I'd moor him next to that cliff over the way. What kind of kid were you, Rex? I don't know. I've not really thought about it. I bet you're curious too, right, Nia? Oh, uh, well, maybe a bit. I could tell you a few stories about when Rex was younger. Ah, oh, yes. 
He was a wild child, that's for sure. A bit of a tear away. He was never the biggest child, but he had a strong sense of justice. Always picking fights with the local bullies. I think I still have the bumps to prove it. So he's been this full of energy his whole life? Sounds like you were right, Antfo. My, my. You certainly seem interested. Well then, perhaps I'll tell you my best Rex story. Go on then, I've got nothing to hide. Gramps will just exaggerate it anyway. So you won't mind me telling them about the time you wet yourself when there was a monster attack? Huh? No, that's not... W wet yourself? Rex, you baby. That was just when I was a kid. I don't do it anymore. Don't even think about carrying on with the story, Gramps. Oh, come on, we want to hear. No! Pyra, please! Um, actually, I kind of do. Huh? This is a story about the time one of the local bullies fell foul of a monster. Rex didn't hesitate. He packed up and... Gramps, please stop! Is wetting yourself really that embarrassing? Super embarrassing! Nia, don't tell me it's never happened to you. <sighs> Maybe we should hear a different story. Oh, you'd like to hear an even more embarrassing story? No! Stop! Don't encourage him, Pyra! Huh? I just want to know as much about you as possible, Rex. Well said. Drivers and Blades should know everything about each other. Yeah, well, there's everything and there's everything. Can we please just drop it? Hilarious and amazing. Seriously, if you can pick fights with monsters at that level, why were you level 1 at the beginning of the game? Explain. Don't, don't hide behind the camera. Explain, your son of a... Well, since I don't want to go to the port, 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 I'm stupid. Why are you guys here? Seriously. Anyways. Yeah, the port we're gonna go next episode because I'm too lazy to go now and, well, we're going to end all next, so obviously there's gonna be something at the port, so yeah, that's just how the game works. I can't wait for there to literally be nothing and me be a stupid idiot and be like, Okay, there's gonna be something special there. Oh yeah, I bought 99 gold cylinders. I kind of farmed for money for a bunch of time. So yeah. So. This was... What? No, on the stairs. Tori, get down here. So, this was episode 22 of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm Subpart Gamer, SGM, and more. I'll see you guys next episode where we're heading to the port. And, yeah. Well, been nice. See ya.